Hi everyone, welcome. I'm down here in my wormery and I got a few things laid out here after having cut up the pumpkin. My Halloween pumpkin is now little bits of yummy worm food chopped up into little cubes spread out over many bags and I held on to the seeds too and the seeds are drying here kind of like the last batch of seeds I collected from a cantaloupe and whatever seeds that uh, I got out of uh, sunflower that a buddy of mine gave me even whatever I could salvage I get some nuts some old nuts a buddy of mine left on his boat forgot they were there and after a while they just seemed a little bit too old to eat so all these things are the sorts of ingredients I include in my worm chows and my worm chows you know just ends up being a, a powdered <laughs> ground up collection of whatever it is that's laying around so this will actually be the first bin that we're going to be feeding with this year's pumpkin and guess which system gets fed today it's going to be this one right here it's the mixed worm population living in this tiny green container two weeks have passed since they were last fed 14 days and today is its 98th day in service that's 14 14 weeks yeah 14 weeks so they're definitely due for a feeding I believe two weeks after getting stuff like tomato and leaves some cantaloupe maybe some worm chow I don't think we're gonna see any leftovers so let's get them up on the bench and get them fed I was looking at this piece of newspaper here I think it'll work well for us as a replacement top covering for this system because the top covering this system has was a single piece until a single piece of paper up until the last time we checked in here and then it kind of fell apart in my hands and into a number of individual pieces which continue to be the top covering but I thought that that material at this point might make a good bedding for the feeding and that it, we'd be able to give them a nice replacement top covering and this newspaper seemed like it would be the perfect thing for that if we just uh, fold it up a little bit maybe make it a little bit smaller than it is now then probably go in here as a nice top covering all right so I think we're pretty much set to go here so let's bring the camera over and this can go in as a nice replacement after we have fed I don't expect to see many leftovers of what they got last time We'll see. One thing they got different last time was this um, this top covering of bubble wrap. Up until last time, two weeks ago, there was a pink plastic bag covering things here. And these are worm exploring the little openings in between the bubbles on that piece of plastic. Might be the same thing over here. I'm not going to go too crazy looking for wormies hanging out on the plastic. They're probably there. So what do we have here? All these little white specks. I bet those are springtails. I started out checking out the springtails and then the little spider kind of caught my attention. I kind of feel bad disrupting the space where a little predator like that is trying to make a living. Maybe we can try to be extra careful, see if we can do our work here without scaring away the spider. I don't know, I wasn't paying attention. Where did the spider go? <laughs> I don't know. All right, well. Down the middle is where we would have fed last. It's where you would expect to see leftovers, if there are any. I remember sprinkling in a little bit of shredded paper, I believe 
Even under the feeding, there were some napkins. These must be the leftovers of the bedding used in the last feeding. And the tomatoes, remarkably, still have a little bit of the mushy material inside of them. By now, you would think that they would just be just the empty skins, like this one here. <laughs> Sucked dry of all of its juices, but a couple of them are still holding out. So, huh, we've got leftovers after two weeks. Yeah, all these little white specks, I believe that they are all tiny, tiny insects. I guess just helping out. It does seem like there's quite a few of them. Perhaps if things were not so damp, then we might see fewer insects. But there's also a little advantage to keeping things a little bit more moist, because that's the way the worms like it. We just disrupted a little worm party going on on this little piece of paper here. <laughs> I'm trying to be a little bit careful. I didn't want to turn everything upside down so quickly. I thought if we went at went about it a little bit more slowly, then if there are uh, perhaps other spiders that I'm not seeing right off the bat, because that one kind of caught my attention. Maybe there were even other little critters that just needed a little bit of time to be able to walk away because I'm coming in <laughs> try to give them a little fair warning right, here's some leftover bits of napkin leftover tomatoes hmm. it doesn't matter to me I'm giving them their pumpkin and it is quite a bit of pumpkin too but I've seen that sort of stuff like I, I've seen an amount of pumpkin this much go to the point where you can squeeze it away and then most of it turns into liquid and then you're left with hardly any actual vegetable matter there so it's not a lot of food as far as I'm concerned when I look at that when I look at that I almost see like ice cubes they almost seem to me like they're just a little a little stash of moisture inside of each one I imagine will make things even more damp in here. Gosh, I guess I forgot how small of a <laughs> system this is. I'm just, I just keep looking at the hole that we've created and I keep questioning whether we're going to be able to fit all that, all that pumpkin in here. Because I also need to get rid of this, right? So let's just start into it and see how we do. It's a little bit of brand new bedding. We could always bring back this old bedding that we ran into along the way. I suppose all the leftover bits of food might as well go back too. Let's see if we can leave enough space in here to <laughs> include all this pumpkin. Sometimes I always, oops. Sometimes I look at what I'm about to give them and I think to myself, oh my goodness, so much. And then after I actually place it into the system, it doesn't seem like it's quite as much after all. It's not always the case. <laughs> well, here's some frozen food attaching itself to the coffee filter. The moist moisture on the coffee filter. Freezing on contact. And, well, I guess we threw in a little bit of used bedding that might have had some worms on it still. Uh, now dumping some frozen materials right on top of them, practically. And hopefully they're able to squirm away from it. Oh, there I go again with my recurring topic. <laughs> uh, the recurring topic of feeding frozen foods all right well let's see how we do covering this thing up because it's right up there <laughs> at the surface this piece of paper will set aside though this will be a marker to show us where we last fed which was right down the middle but now we'll really get a chance to explore the outer edges of this and in doing so we'll just cover up here yeah you know there's going to be a lot of moisture coming off of that stuff <laughs> So that paper that went down in there underneath it, hmm, that was pretty damp already too, so it's not like that's going to suck much moisture into itself. Well, we'll see. 
we'll have to see how things go. All right. I think if we kind of stir up what's on the opposite end, we'll hopefully aerate the material enough so that it allows us to cover things here pretty thoroughly. Yep. We're approaching 100 days here, a couple days away from being 100 days of age. And it is really nice to see how many castings are piling up in here. And there is a lot of little white specks, which I assume are just a whole bunch of little insects. Buzzing around, helping the worms break the stuff in this container down. So usually I think springtails are seen as a, sort of a welcome guest in the worm bins. So I'm not going to sweat their presence. But if things do seem to, I don't know, look like they're getting a little bit overly damp, perhaps the next time we come back in here, maybe we can uh, switch to some sort of more porous toppings, coverings, and perhaps do away with the plastic coverings for a short while, just to allow things to air out a bit. If it seem, seems to be a possible good idea at that time, but for now we're just going to stick to how we've been running things here. Covering back up with plastic. I mean, this was already sort of a, a more breathable plastic covering solution than what was here prior. Prior, there was just the plastic bag. And now, these things, you know, they allow for a little bit of airflow in between the bubbles. So, it'll get nice and damp down there for sure. The worms will come up to hang out here like they were when we first arrived into here and you know that moisture will actually suck into that large piece of newspaper we just covered oh, things with here too because <laughs> that thing's all dry too so I think we'll be okay we'll see we'll see next time we get in here so that's it for our check-in now with our mixed population of worms at 14 weeks of age 98 days of age getting their what was it eighth feeding today I've lost track. All right, everyone, that's it for today's check-in. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, as always, please don't forget to leave me a quick thumbs up before you go. That's always very much appreciated. And if you haven't done so already, please also consider subscribing to the channel. All right, everyone, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye now.